Hey guys and girls, so we're back with the Arduino from Elegoo, the Uno R3, and today we're going to do um, a little bit of playing about with a breadboard and um, an LED and some resistors. So if you're not sure what these things are, so a breadboard, um, they come in different sizes and configurations. Um, the simplest kind is just a grid of holes in a plastic block and inside there are strips of metal to provide electrical connections between the holes. Um, it's a really quick and easy way of messing about with electronics without having to actually physically solder anything onto a board. Um, we're going to be using an LED, just a little 5mm LED. Uh, two resistors. So if you're not sure what a resistor is, it's exactly what it sounds like. It restricts the um, amount of electricity um, going into something. So for example, we're going to restrict the amount of electricity going from the board um, into the LED. Um, the higher the capacity or the higher the resistance, I should say, on the resistors, um, the more electricity it, it restricts the current. Um, there are two different ways to work out what, um, how much resistance there is or the number of ohms in a resistor. Um, the first is to look at the, the colours on the resistor. It's quite hard to see. Let's bring it to focus. Okay, you can see these little strips on here. Um, and you use a little colour chart to work out the number. Um, I'll put that on screen now so you can just see what that looks like. If, however, you can't work it out with that, if you've got a multimeter, so it's just a standard multimeter. Now I know I've got a, I've got a 10k and I've got a 200k resistor here, but I'm not sure which one's which. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the uh, multimeter to 20k to try and find the first, um, find out what the find the 10k uh, resistor. So I'm just going to touch the red and the black and straight away I can see that's 9.87 so that's the 10k resistor and then if I do the same with this one now you can see there I've got 0.22 so I know that's the 220 resistor um, but if you change down on here to say 2000 and we'll do the same again We should be able to see that yeah, it's 219, 220. So that's how you can use a little uh, multimeter to check your resistors. Um, we're going to be using the 5 volt power on the Arduino. So if we have a look on here, you can see when it focuses, come on, we can just about in there see the 5 volt and a ground so we've got the 5 volt and the ground and we're going to be using those so what we're going to do is we're also going to need some DuPont leads I've got two uh, little cables um, I tend to try to color them correctly so red for live blue for black but it doesn't really matter so we're going to put the red DuPont into the 5 volt on the Arduino and we're going to put the blue or black cable into the, any ground on the Arduino, but I'll keep them sort of next to each other. And I'll put a circuit diagram on screen, so as you can see. Okay, and these are going to go into our board. So we want the... Give it a go. I can't... I'm not 100% sure, but I think... So if we go one, two, third one along, and just put... Uh, we'll put the live in the bottom and we'll put the ground diagonally opposite it in the top like so it's a little bit hard to see but i will put that diagram on screen okay and then we're going to want the resistors okay we're going to use the resistors um so let's grab a resistor and we use the 10k one first okay and we are going to pop that into here. 
and I will show you this a bit more close up in a second so you get a better idea. It doesn't matter which way around the resistor goes, it can go any. Now the, the LED, um, the longer end should be the uh, positive and the shorter end should be the negative. Okay, we'll see. Let's stretch this across. I'll give you a close up in a second, let me just get these in. Okay. Let's hook up the USB cable to get the five volt power that we need. Okay, and that's working, that has lit up. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you how I've wired that because it's not very good if you can't see it. So, see. Um, essentially what we've got is on the top, we've got um, the ground in the top going diagonally down into um, the live. Then we've got, on the second row along, the LED goes into the top and then down across diagonally. And then you put the resistor just below it and the other one on top. Okay, so let's power that back on and we'll kill the lights so as you can see the brightness. Just kill those lights. Okay, so that's the, the brightness using um, this resistor. We're gonna switch out the resistor and see what happens with the brightness. So we'll do that now. Okay, and we can see with a resistor that uses um, less ohms or has less resistance, so the 220 compared to the 10k uh, resistor, we get a much brighter LED, which is pretty cool. So we can start to see how uh, resistance works. Okay, and then again, if I disconnect and go back to the first one, we can see there it's much, much dimmer. Okay, so this is a really cool kit. I really like it. There's um, going to be a couple of other tutorials coming up, um, but that's the one for today. A um, massive thank you to everyone for hitting 5K subscribers. Um, really, really appreciate it. There'll be some details coming up about Q&A uh, that you can participate in. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. I hope that's been helpful. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, remember, it's the Elegoo uno r3 link in the description grab yourself one of these they're not that expensive off amazon pretty cool and remember to uh, like subscribe and share